MJB is a, a very interesting firm. Uh, living in the community that we do in the interior of British Columbia, we have the ability to provide answers to almost any legal question that comes our way. In that way, we're very much a full service firm. In the interior, we are one of the largest firms uh, outside the Lower Mainland in the province of British Columbia. So we have the resources to look after clients, whether in my particular practice, it's hiring doctors and obtaining medical reports and investigating and having the resources to take on insurance companies and meet them head on on an equal footing. When I started uh, practicing as a trial lawyer, I did a number of different areas. I did some criminal defense work. I did personal injury work, uh, wrongful dismissals, state litigation. Uh, most of my practice now is, is personal injury work. Uh, I do still do wrongful dismissal in the state litigation, but about 70 to 80% of what I do is personal injury work, and the majority of that is, is plaintiffs, people that are hurt in car accidents. Um, I enjoy it. it. It's something that I'm good at, and I like doing it because at the end of the day, I feel that I'm helping people get what they're entitled to in a system that generally doesn't give people what they're entitled to. When, when people come to me, particularly victims of car accidents, but it, it can also be when they've been fired from a job or when someone's passed away and it turns out that the estate isn't set up the way they were expecting it to be, um, I think at the end of the day they hire me because I respond quickly and make sure that they understand the process. Most people when they come to see a lawyer don't understand the process and they're upset and they're somewhat intimidated by the process. And I believe that getting back to people promptly and explaining what's going on and what's likely going to happen helps them through that process. I like being a civil trial lawyer uh, because I believe at the end of the day that I'm helping people in a system that needs to have people helped. I think that left to their own devices, people will not get what they're entitled to and they need professional help and, and help that's empathetic and help that understands their individual problems and needs to get them what they're entitled to.